So how should a D&D geek like myself go about finding a woman who will make them a good girlfriend or wife? Shake your moneymaker! Ooh, two hits! Yeah! Today is my birthday, and last week was my anniversary. And that got me to thinking. How did I get a wife? How did I get so lucky to get a wife who gets what I'm all about? And what makes our relationship work long term? Well, the answer to both of those questions is the same thing. Common interests. Before I go any further, I would like to explain why I have framed this in the context of men seeking women. Number one, first and foremost, that's the only context that I have any experience in personally. Number two, when it comes to the female half of this, gamer girls have a much larger pool of potential mates to choose from. To give you an idea of what I'm talking about, a month or two ago I saw a post on the uh, largest of the 5th uh, edition Facebook page groups, the one that has over 100,000 members. And even though there are more women and girls playing D&D than ever before, it still showed that 83% of that group was male and only 17% female. So that's a 6 to 1 ratio. So uh, a woman who is interested in a guy who is into gaming and in general geek culture has a, has a pretty large pool to choose from already and doesn't need a whole lot of help. The only piece of advice I might have for such a woman is don't be so quick to friend zone uh, your male friends with uh, common interests with you. You may find someone who uh, there's a deeper connection with if you uh, give them a chance. Now that we have that behind us, here's my advice for fellow D&D geeks for finding a good woman who will make a good long-term girlfriend or wife. And it's the same advice that your mom probably gave you already. Be yourself and be patient. Now I know when you're lonely, this wisdom may sound like complete BS. You're probably wondering, you know, what's wrong with me? I see other people who don't seem to have it together as much as me and they have someone they're with. Well, don't let your impatience uh, rush you into a relationship that's really not going to work because neither one of you, you or her, will be will be happy. I've experienced this personally several times. Um, what I am going to tell you that's going to, to help is what your mom left out. What kind of woman will being yourself and being patient help you find? What we're talking about is someone to have a relationship with, not someone uh, for just a hookup or friends with benefits sort of relationship. Uh, you want a woman who will see your hobbies and interests not as something that competes with her for your time and attention, but something that she can share with you and that can enrich your relationship together. Okay, so why is being yourself so important? I know from personal experience that it can seem embarrassing to put, put out that you play D&D, that you're into video games, that you like comic books, although nowadays that's not seen as childish or um, irresponsible or weird as much as it was back in the 80s and 90s when I was growing up. Uh, so thanks to like all the Marvel movies and just the popular popularization of video games and now the popularization of D&D, uh, that, that shouldn't be as big a turnoff to as many women. But being yourself is important because, well here, let me give you an example from my own life, how I met my wife. Um, I had uh, moved cities and was in a place where I didn't really know anyone. I was working in both uh, in the National Guard and in construction, and neither one of those are real female-heavy uh, jobs. 
not a not a real good place to meet a woman. There are a few there, but uh, they're really uh, really not they're really few and far between. So I decided I'd try some uh, online dating for the first time, and I got on three or four different sites. And at first I uh, sanitized my uh, profiles. Uh, you know, I put a couple of pictures of myself uh, just in normal street clothes. Um, and I, I mentioned uh, what my job was, the fact that I was uh, had been in the Army and was now in the National Guard. Um, and a, a few things that I liked that weren't like sci-fi and fantasy related. And I got, I got some women who responded to me. The problem was that after messaging with them or calling them on the phone or even uh, in one case after a, a date or two, I realized that none of them, they, there would always be that competition that I was talking about where none of them really got who I was what my interests were, and they would always see those interests uh, at the very least as competing with my attention that they felt like was theirs. And that was only going to cause problems. And, you know, there's nothing wrong with a woman feeling like she deserves your attention. She does. Uh, but if she is, if she sees your hobbies and and interests as childish or vapid or whatever, uh, it's just going to be a source of tension between the two of you. And that's really, it doesn't matter how nice the woman is, that's not the woman for you. If you are a die-hard, dyed-in-the-wool, fantasy, sci-fi, D&D, video game geek, that is a huge part of your life. And there's no, no point in denying that. So, that's why finding a woman who is into your interests uh, already is so important. Why being, uh, being yourself is so important because if she's going to be in a relationship with you, she's going to find out about that stuff eventually. So you might as well be upfront about it. And if you are, then you can find a woman like my wife. And I'm going to cut to a piece of video I filmed a little earlier and kind of show you around her kitchen uh, to give you an example of why she was already almost as, as heavy into uh, sci-fi and fantasy as I am. Okay, so this is uh, the kitchen. Uh, and most of the stuff you see here, all these dragons and griffins and gargoyles that you will see here, almost all of them were things that my wife had before she and I met. So she was already really into uh, the whole sci-fi, fantasy, aesthetic, and genre. Now I've given her a couple of these things, and I will show you close-ups of those here in a minute. But And there's a, a something towards the end of this that I made for her. And because she is so into this, uh, this these two genres, it's something she really appreciates and enjoys, like this right here, this baby Groot. I made that for her for Valentine's Day two years ago. Here's the door going from the kitchen down our hall. These lower two things she already had, uh, and the dragon head I, I gave to her. She really, really loves fantasy stuff. Okay, here are a few more examples of things that, uh, because of her love of fantasy, I was able to give her... I bought these, of course, unpainted and painted them for her, and she had great appreciation for that because she loves dragons. Here's one more example of a gift I've made for her that she loved. It's a baseball bat modeled after Lucille that's made from a real bat and real barbed wire. I'm not the only one who makes cool gifts in our relationship. She made me this chainmail shirt. It's made out of 3 8 inch, 14 gauge stainless steel rings. And finally, here's what I'm getting her for Christmas this year. A big five-headed dragon that I'll eventually paint. But the whole point in all these gifts and, and stuff that I was showing is just that, you know, we both enjoy the same stuff and uh, she really appreciates anything that I do that's in, in the fantasy or sci-fi vein. 
because I wasn't afraid to be myself, I found a woman who really enjoys a great deal of the things I do. She's even a diehard member of my D&D group. Okay, now for the second part of the advice. Be patient. Uh, I know a lot of us, if you're anything like me, you don't have women just beating down your door. You know, between the fact that I am socially awkward, which I know is a very common trait amongst us uh, D&D geeks, and the fact that I look like I might bite somebody a lot of times, I, I either scare off or uh, just through my aloofness uh, bore a lot of women. It seems like about 85% of women find me a little bit uh, threatening and about another 10% that don't find me threatening, don't find me attractive to begin with. And I've got that 5% that are just really into me. Uh, but even in that 5%, there are quite a few that are, uh, that are just not well suited for me. It may not be because they're bad people. I have been in relationships because I got in a hurry and just, you know, she seemed really into me and, and I, was, I was alone at the time uh, that I regret now, but you know they're part of my part of my life story. It's a learning experience, so uh, it's just something that happened, uh, and I know better now. And it helped me find my current wife. And as you saw in the video before, my wife is really into into fantasy. She loves dragons and gargoyles and and griffins and manicores and and all manner of stuff except spiders. Hates spiders. It's one of the reasons that I'm kept around is for killing spiders, getting things off high shelves and changing light bulbs and I guess opening pickle jars and stuff like that. Um, <clears throat> but, uh, where was I? Oh yes, uh, being patient. But don't let the fact that you're lonely right now or let your lust, just because it's been a long time since you've been with a woman, say it's been months or even years, that you've been single and you find a woman who's into you. It can be a mistake that can cost you years of your life and make both of you unhappy. So, you know, go slow. I know that is a whole lot easier said than done. I have made the mistake of not going slow many times myself, getting getting caught up, but, you know, the whole fool's rush in, that's, uh, that is true as the day is long. So, I guess that's about all I've got for you. I'll just summarize right now. Be yourself, that way you, the women who are not interested in your hobbies will self-select them themselves out. And the women who like that sort of thing, you know, the women who are, who are comic book fans, love sci-fi movies, love video games, are already into D&D, They'll know what you're into, and they'll be like, hey, this is somebody I've got something in common with, and they'll contact you. Sure, you're going to be knocking out about 80% of the women in there, but they're women that you didn't need to be with anyway. And second, be patient. Actually go out on a few dates with a woman before you commit to any sort of physical uh, relationship. And I know, once again, that's difficult, especially if she's not putting the brakes on. But... Uh, be patient. If you're actually looking for a woman to be a long-term girlfriend or eventually wife, you know, that's a huge commitment. And you want both of you to be happy in the relationship, so don't rush in. All right, that's all I've got to say about this subject. I know it's a, a little off uh, off my normal stuff, but like I said, I was just, had my had my 44th birthday and because my birthday and my uh, anniversary are less than a week apart, that just got me to thinking about it. It got me to thinking about a lot of the guys I know who, um, who have a lot of the same trouble with finding the right woman for them. So I figured I, since I had been successful in doing that, I would give what little help I could. Um, see, before I go, don't forget, I have a... Uh, a subscription drive going on right now where I'm going to be giving away a uh, 
AD&D 2nd Edition uh, character record sheet book. Give me just a second. It's right in here. Didn't think about this ahead of time, but here it is. It's in excellent shape. And let's see if I can do this where you can see it. Everything's, every page is in there. It's nice. And that will be given away once I get to 100 subscribers. At the time that I'm filming, filming this, I'm at 37 right now. So uh, the more of you who subscribe and the more of you who share this video or any of the videos uh, that I have that you think one of your friends might like, the quicker we can get to 100 and give this away. Um, on that note, as I always say at the end of my videos, please remember to like, share, and subscribe. That does all, all those help me out a whole lot. And I hope you have a great day, and hopefully this help will, this advice will help you.